So I don't know about you guys, but I spend most of my time on my iPhone and because of which this device deserves to be customized to its full potential. And with iOS 18, Apple gave us a lot of new features and of course a lot of new updates because of which now you can customize your iPhone to your liking. And in this video, I'm going to help you out with that. Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! So without wasting any time, it's with Samir, you guys are watching IEX vlog and let's start today's video. First, let's talk about home screen customization because that is where Apple gave us the most updates. Remember when we used to dream of customizing our app icons to our favorite color? Well, with iOS 18, Apple made it a reality. And for that, you need to tap and hold on your home screen. Now select edit, choose customize and over here you will have all the options related to the app icon on home screen. So first and foremost, let's check out the dark one. And as you can see, our app icons has been switched to the dark mode. Well, there is one more trick you can enable and that is if you don't want this dark background, you can tap on this icon and the shade will be invisible. Again, you can set it to automatic and what this will do is if your iPhone has dark mode enabled, for example, let's go and do that. The app icons will be switched to the dark mode automatically. Again, let's turn off the dark mode and here we have the light icons. And not only this, you can also set a tint to your favorite color. For example, I like uh, a bit of blue so I can set the saturation and tint accordingly or pick the color with the eye picker tool. Let's select uh, this color and as you can see, the same tint will be applied to all your icons present on the home screen. And not only this, you can also make these icons large but the thing is, the names visible under those app icons will be invisible, will be gone. Well, the customization doesn't end here because now freely move your app icons on your home screen and yes, this is one fantastic new features I was personally craving for. So now you are not bound to keep your app icons in a grid. You can freely place anywhere on your home screen and to be honest this is one freedom I was craving for since many years and this one was specific reason why I thought Android was better in terms of customization when you compare it with iOS but now I think iOS has the lead with all these customization features than that too natively. Just one pro tip that you always choose the color tint according to the wallpaper so that your setup looks more aesthetic. And moving forward, now that we have already talked about home screen customization, it's time that we talk about lock screen as well. So customizing lock screen on iOS was never been an easy task. But thanks to iOS 18, now it is a cakewalk. All you need to do is just tap and hold on your lock screen, choose customize, lock screen again and over here, you now have the ability to remove these shortcuts and add your preferred one. So once removed, tap on this placeholder and you will have all the shortcuts present. I personally use iScreen app to add personalized shortcuts but you can also go into the shortcuts app and you can make a shortcut over here and add it on your lock screen. So let's add a few of them and let me just remove these and now as you can see the name says custom 1, custom 2, custom 3. You can all customize these by going into the app but for now I'm gonna select chat GPT of course and on the other hand I use Let's go with uh, over here shortcut and as you can see it will ask me to choose a shortcut and I think I'm going with 4G, 5G toggle and this is one custom shortcut I made for myself and once selected tap over here and simply done and as you can see I have changed the shortcuts on the lock screen. So this is the ice screen app I was talking about so if I just open this and over here you will have multiple options to add new shortcuts well you can scroll down you can select which shortcut you want to add and simply there are multiple things you can add like themes, wallpapers, more etc. Well you can go ahead and explore and if you find something unique do let me know in the comment section as well. So now let's create a shortcut using ice screen app. All you need to do is just tap on control center option and you can see these are all the shortcuts we have built in to this app. So now you can edit the shortcuts and let me select this one and you can select the app you want to jump into and I'll go with settings for example and all you need to do is just save control or if you want to change the size of the shortcut according to your liking you can also do that by tapping over here and I think I prefer this one and save to control. Now go back tap and hold on your lock screen customize lock screen again and I'm gonna remove this and now we'll look for that particular shortcut and here it is 
will tap on it and once satisfied tap on done now let's launch the shortcut and as you can see the settings app will appear over here so now that we have edited our lock screen to our liking it's time that we customize control center as well the control center has also received a major makeover as you can see over here now we get a lot of new pages depending on the functions for example this is the general page and if i scroll down here you get the media page and this is your network page you can edit to your liking so for that you need to tap and hold and you can add the control by tapping over here and again the i screen app works over here as well so this is particular shortcut we created for our last customization and that is for lock screen but we can add it in the control center as well and not only this now you can switch the places of all the controls you have in your control center as well as you can resize them as well so if i just scroll down and i don't think i require this huge media player so i'll shrink it down a bit but i think i want shazam I'm over here to recognize our music so that all my media related controls will be on the same page and I'm going to put it somewhere like this so this is one new feature music haptics I have added it as well now if you want to add more controls to your liking you can do that and you can customize them by going into the i screen or you can also add a shortcut for example add this one and you can see your shortcut will be added over here as well so this is something up to you how you want your control center to look and to be honest i think this is one major redesign apple did with control center because now there are some new learning curves you need to learn to fully optimize to fully utilize your control center potential so to add a new page in your control center you need to just tap and hold again you need to scroll down and just over here you can see there is a blank page that Tap over here and simply add a control, and you can see we have created all together a new page on Control Center. But what if you have already messed up your Control Center with iOS 18? Well, don't you worry because with the release of iOS 18.1, there is an option to reset your Control Center, and let's check it out. So as you can see, this is my Control Center. So to reset it, I need to go into the settings, scroll down, Control Center, and over here. you will have the option of reset control center i'll tap on it reset control center and that's it as you can see this is the default look of iOS 18's native control center now let's talk about some hidden gems and talking about hidden now you have the ability to hide and lock apps in iOS 18 and that too natively and thank you apple for that now you can hide apps for added privacy and it is quite easy to do so first and foremost you need to tap and hold on to an app and let's do this one and choose require face id and over here you will have the option of hide and require face id tap on it it will ask me for the password because right now i don't have any face id registered to this iphone so i'm going to input the password and simply hide the app this particular app will be hidden in the app library in hidden folder so if i tap on it it will ask me for the password and i'm going to input the password and over here you can see all these three apps are hidden on my iphone and thus located in hidden folder so now let's do it with some other app as well so now let me select this black magic camera app tap and hold on it and uh, simply select require face id choose hide and require face id it will ask for the password and i'm going to input it hide app and as you can see this particular app will be hidden in this hidden folder in library well the keen eyes among you might have already noticed that hiding apps is not the only new thing apple added in ios 18 now you can lock app as well well locking an app is quite similar as hiding an app so all you need to do is just tap and hold on an app now select require face id and simply choose require face id you will need to input the password or scan your face once done and if i just lock the phone and let me just unlock my phone again and input my password and let's open the app and as you can see it will ask me for a face id or a passcode and now let's do this with some another app but this time i'm going to select a stock app for example let's go with translate tap and hold on it and choose require face id require face id and as you can see you cannot hide 
stock apps but you can only lock them well the list of customization doesn't end over here now with ios 18 you have the ability to customize your text as well your messages as well and let me show you how you can do that okay so to customize text you need to go into the messages app and open a chat write a message down and uh, i'm gonna write hello how are you and as you can see over here this is one font icon or text icon we need to tap on and these are the eight effects we get so big it will look like this small nod ripple jitter bloom explode and shake and not only this you can also bold them you can make them italics you can underline them and you can strike through them but one thing you need to keep in mind that when you enable all these font customization the effects won't work with your text so let's take an example and if i just underline it as you can see it will deselect big option and once you are done with the customizing your text let's say big one and all you need to do is just send it across that's it well not only this you can also schedule text for later this is one fantastic feature added so that you don't miss someone special special days so write a message down happy birthday and uh, tap on add and over here you will have the option of send later choose it and just select the date and select the time once selected tap on send the scheduled text will come in dotted bubble that means this is particular text which has been scheduled for a later time you can either tap on edit to send right now or you can also edit the time and date as well and now let's talk about wallpaper this one particular trick which i personally use helps me to keep my iphone screen fresh each and every day so we will gonna make a photo shuffle wallpaper and what it is exactly well this makes an album of your wallpapers which can be switched which can be changed depending on the frequency you will select and let me show you how you can do that so for example i have made this particular wallpaper and as you can see i can change the wallpaper with single tap and how to do this well it is quite simple go to settings scroll down wallpaper add new wallpaper and select photo shuffle now it will ask you to add photos manually or you can choose an album now let's select choose photos manually for now i'm going to select this one this one this one this one this one and of course this one this one as well once selected add and if you want to adjust the wallpaper size you can also do that you can also put different filters as well and not only this you can also customize the font style and font size of time over here simply by just pulling or pushing the slide over here you can also change the color and not only this you can also change the manuscript as well and let's go with devnagri so this is what it looks like and if i tap on this it will ask me to change the widget for now i don't have any useful widgets to add but let's say this thing is good the weather widget is just universally good so i'm going to select that and if you want to add more widgets you can add widgets from here and as you can see you can also change the shortcuts but what if you want to change the frequency of it well tap on three dot button and over here you will have shuffle frequency you can set it to daily hourly on lock or on tap my personal favorite is on tap but if you want to add more images to this collection well tap on this icon and uh, now you can add more photos to your collection and this time i'm going to add this one and done and done so if i tap on it you can see this particular photo has been added in our wallpaper list and once satisfied tap on add and simply select set as wallpaper pair and uh, if i just go back to the lock screen so this is the wallpaper we have set and now with the tap can change them and lastly let's talk about buttons well apple gave us few new buttons with the launch of iphone 16 and iphone 15 series some of them are called action button and other one we don't call them button they are just camera control so now let's customize action button and for that you need to go into settings scroll down and over here tap on action button and you can select a shortcut to launch you can choose shazam you can also use it for voice recording you can launch camera you can also use different focus code well the list doesn't end over here it is totally customizable according to your liking but what if you don't have action button on your iphone well there is one specific feature which your iphone should have and that is back tap and for that you need to go into accessibility 
Scroll down, select touch, again scroll down, back tap and now you will have options to configure double tap and triple tap. For now, I have set double tap to screenshot as it will take a screenshot but let me select and for triple tap, I'm gonna choose camera and if I just triple tap, it will launch camera and if I tap two times, it will take a screenshot. So these were all the tips, tricks and suggestions from my side to customize, to personalize your iPhone to your liking. How did you find this video? Do let me know in the comment section and if this video helped you out, then make sure you press the like button so that YouTube know we are doing some good work. And of course, while you're down there, make sure to press the subscribe button and bell icon as well so that you get notified on each and every video we post about everything Apple. And in meanwhile, you can go to the App Store, download iX Blog app, Enjoy everything Apple content and amazing wallpapers I can vouch for. On this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada. See ya. Bye-bye.